everybody. With this, we start our discussion. Today's agenda is going to be understanding what is cryotherapy, though intuitively a lot of you know what it is, but we'll go through the didactics. We'll define the equipment, a very essential part of the whole process. We'll go through the applications and they are listed over here. And some cases to justify all these principles. Typically in procedural pulmonology, unless you see hands-on stuff with day-to-day -day issues you deal with, it is difficult to comprehend some of these things and then we'll summarize the whole talk. So what is cryotherapy? Definition and equipment. It is the application of cold to the point of freezing energy for endobronchial diagnostic and therapeutic purposes. And that's why we mentioned the evolution that it's gone through various indications. Started off as I have a modality. It came from some other field. Typically we saw the cryotherapy happening in say cataract surgery and realize this can probably be used even in our field if you have the right applications, um, the right conduits and exactly know how to implement it in certain situations. What is the equipment? Well, think of it in bronchology, when you think of how the bronchoscope is or how any other modalities is, it is pretty similar to your forceps, to your cautery, to organ photocoagulation, to laser and so on. You will need the bronchoscope as a conduit. You will need a catheter which basically the which takes the cold energy from the production source all the way to the lesion. So that is by and large the transfer line. So if you take that principle and apply it to cryosurgery or cryotherapy, it becomes much more simple. So what do we have out there? We have the cryosurgery device, which is the cryoprobe. We talked of that being the conduit. It is used for various applications such as ablation, therapeutic aspects and adhesion, which can be therapeutic or diagnostic. The cryoprobe basically freezes the target tissue and then does its job by trying to make it cold uh, destroyed or cold attached and that leads to the therapeutic component.